Hello, my name is Dr. Kellen Lee. I'm a chartered psychologist and I work in the field of dementia care. So my mission um, is to ensure that everybody that has dementia lives the life that they want to live and lives a good life for as long as possible. And I do this by focusing on um, material citizenship, which is a concept I developed in my PhD. Now, what this does is it looks at the importance of everyday objects. So you and I use many objects every day and we totally take them for granted because we use them, they're there, they're where they're supposed to be. However, notice those moments when you can't find your keys or something isn't where it should be. The anxiety that that can cause, the panic, and the kind of behavior that I might see from that, you know, running around, you know, getting things all over the place, looking for things, where are they? Where have I left them? I'm sure I left them there. Okay, so if you've got dementia, that looks very different because people will assume that the behavior is one um, related to the dementia and two, that in some way it's problematic, okay? So it's very important when we're looking at dementia care to focus on the objects that a person may need in order to have that feeling of safety, to reduce those feelings of anxiety and also other, other behaviors that may come from the way that we are feeling. And I want to share with you a story. So I will have to read this because a friend of mine sent this to me this morning. And I really want to share this story with you because one, it's so powerful. And two, it kind of makes me think, how can we not use material citizenship? It's not a case of why should we, it's how can we not? Okay, so the story goes, a geriatric psychiatrist told me a story yesterday of a lady in a care home who had pronounced signs of distress, continuously restless and crying out. A staff member set aside a few hours to try and learn about her life. And during that time, noticed that in old photos, she always had a hat on. They got her a collection of hats and the distress just stopped like magic. And he said, naturally, I thought of you. This is so important because by removing these objects, by not giving people access to things, we can create an environment that it causes distress, that causes anxiety, that causes the behaviours that we call challenging behaviours. And actually by taking notice, by sitting down with people, by applying material citizenship in any setting, this training can not only remove or reduce the negative feelings that people have and the behaviour that comes from that. It can also give staff confidence in working with people with dementia and actually wanting to work with people with dementia. But it also just makes life better for everybody. And that's, that's the vision, that's the mission. That's what we're trying to achieve. If you would like more information, contact me on www.materialcitizenship.com. Thank you.